The outer part of the Earth is made up of a jigsaw of tectonic plates. How are these defined? We will answer this question starting at the Earth's surface and then look below the plates. So this map shows the distribution of earthquakes. The record is only eight years and it shows magnitude five and higher. Don't worry too much about the colours here. The red dots are the ones we're interested in. These have occurred in the top 50 kilometres. But these earthquakes are recording relative motion on faults. So this map tells us where active faults are. So let's join the dots. So these are the tectonic plates. The interiors show relatively few earthquakes, so classically are viewed as rigid. Here are the names. Look at the distribution of ocean and continents. Plates can contain both continental and oceanic components. Almost all the plates do indeed contain both. So, with respect to the outside of the Earth, we can define plates simply in terms of where the relative motion is concentrated, and that is along the boundaries where the earthquakes occur. But what about the base of the plates? Let's look down inside part of a plate that contains a continent. So in this profile we have the crust forming the outer part of the plate. The base of the crust is the moho, but the rest of the plate consists of mantle. This mantle and the crustal veneer constitutes the lithosphere and it's underlain by more mantle which is the thenosphere. So we have two boundaries here, one is the base of the crust, the other is the base of the plate. So to be clear, lithosphere, a plate, consists of all of the crust and the upper mantle that is stiff. The asthenosphere is all the mantle that exists below the lithosphere. So what does this mean? Well, the upper mantle is stiff because it is cooler. The mantle below is softer because it's warmer. So what's defining these boundaries? Well, the base of the crust is defined by composition. We have different minerals within the crust than we do within the mantle. But the base of the plate, the difference between lithosphere and the stenosphere, is defined by temperature. Let's now look at oceans. So here's some new ocean crust, typically just seven kilometers thick and the lithospheric mantle is rather thin beneath new crust. Contrast that with old crust, that's underlain by thicker lithospheric mantle. So the behaviour from oceans tells us that the base of the plate changes through time, presumably because the temperature of the upper mantle changes through time. So what are plates? Plates are lithosphere, they consist of all of the crust and the stiff part of the mantle, the upper mantle. The base of the crust is defined by composition. The base of the lithosphere is more dynamic, it's defined by the rheology of the upper mantle, which in turn is controlled by the temperature of the upper mantle temperature can change, so too then can the position of the base of the plate. 